If you follow anything hockey on social media, chances are you've seen the work of Washier Janot. And I love how I say seen his work because he's 10 years old. He's got millions of views on his videos. But as you'll learn here, his true reach is immeasurable. Kwe kana wik washiejina dijna kaznen. Teganek min duce. My name is Washiejina and I'm from the Gonquins of Barry Lake. Teagun nizatun ayo dunyan haki. Gi kana mugu gi bitch kijaj ushkwadian. Jimmy Glitch Dickett. So this, this is where hockey began for Wash. From the ages of four years old and up, we rollerbladed here, uh, shot pucks. It's pretty much where all the little fine tuning happens. Let's get a little workout. You didn't shoot pucks in two days. <laughs> all right, so rip some of that, man. The wrist shots are one, one new first game. At three years old, he got his first pair of skates, and uh, he was, would walk around the ice and he would skate around, but he was a goalie at first. His mom's a goalie, and we used to go watch her play, uh, play league hockey or some tournaments, so he ended up being a goalie for the first two years. And then one practice, uh, come Christmas, he wanted to try being forward, and he just put on a pair of skates, and all of a sudden he started, I mean, lighting it up. He started skating and shooting the puck, uh, hitting some bar downs. And that's when we took the decision to transition him to a player because we just saw uh, the potential to, to grow. I'm just glad that he's uh, picking up the, the sports and um, having the daily activity because uh, growing up, I, I was pretty much like he was. I, I participated in a lot of events and to see him doing that makes me very proud because he's, he's following in the footsteps of not only the, the stuff that I've done growing up, but also his uncle. His uncle was exactly the same way, out on the ice all the time, his grandfather was the same way. So for him to do that is, is something that I'm very proud of, to watch him grow and do that. So a lot of people only see the videos. Well, this is where the videos come to life, in the sense where he's just having fun and practicing. This is the, the wall of, our wall of fame. Start from the Ethan Bear in his New Carolina jersey to his famous, uh, his famous Edmonton jersey. We got 2-2. Uh, Washier is actually uh, loudest thunder in Algonquin. Jordan Jeanette. So we pretty much named him after Jordan 2-2. Honestly, never even uh, thought about him possibly meeting him one day. Do you wear these jerseys or do you just leave them up on the wall? I wear that one. The bear. I think you've worn all of them, though, eh? in your videos? Yeah. It's so important for the kids to have role models. So when we, we see one that makes the NHL or even junior major hockey like Wash's cousin, it, it's a big step for kids because then it, it can help them explore to dream big and to go further than you thought you could go. And this is what this wall represents for us. Shoot! <laughs> we, would, we would have the ice every day, we'd be on here every day. For sure a lot of people are commenting and saying this is not hockey, this uh, what people don't see is the hours of shooting, the hours of passing, the hours of working on a certain way of skating, your quick start, your crossovers, your backward skating, forward skating, your edge work. It all helps combine to a more, a more complete hockey player. I just want him to have the best possible opportunity 
in life to get a better education, to help him grow as a person, to be, come back and become a positive role model. So I'll say we're finished, we turn around there, and you go grab the ball. Yeah, just keep on, but keep on moving your feet the whole time. Okay. All right? All right, let's go. I see how he uh, looks up to the current NHLers now, uh, especially with uh, our First Nations hockey players. And like him, uh, he wants to pave that way as well for the future generations. We're really proud of the, for the indigenous part of our, of our lives. And you know, what Fred Sasakamus went through, he was the first one to, to, to break that barrier and then so on and so forth. And leading to today, racism is still very much alive, but we can't compare it to what they went through. So it's important for us to honor them in the videos.